beautiful people. We're back. They put me in charge again. Not responsible for anything that happens in this video. Um, today I have a small grocery haul. So let's get to it. All right. Hey, good people. Today we are back with a small grocery haul. Actually, we have quite a few things to do. I want to do a small grocery haul. Um, excuse me. I'm going to cook. I'm going to make ribs and rice today. Um, we're going to un or open a box. My new lamps came in today, so we'll open a box for those maybe. And yeah. So anyway, let's start with this small grocery haul. Sorry, it's my mask. I do not remember how much all this came up to because it was different stores. But I needed more cornstarch. I'm going to make fajitas. I was hungry when I went to the store. So yeah. But I brought this kind of fajita mix, this kind too, and this kind. Don't know which one I'm going to use. No idea. A recipe that I wanted to make, I needed this for the puns, punzu. But um, I got the wrong meat. So I'm not going to be able to do that one. If you know, you know, Frank's Red Hot, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I like... Um, I like these peanut clusters. Got me some more honey and more honey. Um, I brought this one to just, because this honey is expensive. So I would like to use this for my tea and so forth. Um, and then I can use this for when I do the barbecue sauce with the chicken wings. And yes, I had chicken wings again yesterday. I brought some more of the banana peppers because I still want to make a Philly steak cheese for me. I made it for my husband, but I want to make me one one day this week. Um, I just wanted to tr try them. There was another one I brought too, but that one's in the room on my nightstand. Um, I got my everything but the bagel. I mean, everything but the salt mustache. Some fajita tortillas i brought me um, a new cup because i have got to get back on drinking my water i used to drink a lot of water um when i was working i used to drink um i had a real big i'm trying to look around and see if it's out but it's not i had a real big like water bottle um what is it called let me get it right quick y'all we're going back into this pantry nope ain't started nothing yet Okay, this one. I brought these. I have two of these. And I used to do really good at drinking my water with those, but I really fell off. I can tell it in my skin. I could just tell I need to do more water. So I'm hoping that this gives me the oomph that I need. Um, Got some vanilla extract. Sometimes I like to put this when I make pancakes. I put a little bit of uh, vanilla extract in there. Maybe sometimes I put a little bit of um, cinnamon too. Not really a big fan of cinnamon. It just depends on how it's being presented to me. Um, and I'm going to try this blood orange soda. I know that Trader Joe's has a, orange, a blood orange soda that I like. I love it. Um, so I'm going to see if this tastes anything like it. Then I got this a leave-in conditioner for the next time that I uh, retwist my hair. Um, just to put it in there. Do something, girl. I don't know. And then these are crystal nail files. My mother always told me to use the glass files on your nails. She always told me that, always told me that. I used to have one, don't know where it's at. Then I got another one and it broke. Where I live at, there's not many um, beauty supply stores, where there aren't any black beauty <laughs> supply stores. But um, So when I was in Marshalls, I found these and that's why they're Mickey Mouse. I could care less about Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, any of that. And then I brought... Sorry, I forgot to take this out. I'm trying to do it with one hand. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, this is live and real TV. The less I edit, the better I am. Because I don't really be knowing what I'm doing. But I thank y'all for hanging in there with me. I just needed, or wanted, I did not need, did not need. I wanted 
cutting boards. And then I brought the, uh, the different color matte ones. Um, I didn't need these either. But how many of us go in the store and buy stuff we don't need? Okay. And then I got these. I was at Marshall's. And I thought these were just like the cutest little boots to put on with some skinny legs or put on some tights. And, um, you know, the thick tights and put on, um, you know, a nice shirt or leggings or something. But I thought they were cute. So I wish they had them in black, but I think brown is neutral and they were $34.99. So let's see how many times I wear them. And then here are the lamps. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, rent out my cup and get me some water ready. And um, I'm going to make me a salad for lunch because I haven't eaten yet. It's 2.09 and I have not eaten anything yet. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and record. Um, I'll probably put the meat in the Instapot first. Yeah, we'll do put the meat in the Instapot, the ribs. And, um, and while those are cooking, I can eat and then come back and finish it up. All right, stay tuned. Okay, guys, we're back to start our ribs and rice. So I'm going to cook everything in the pressure cooker. Let me just rinse this right quick. Okay, I've rinsed this out and I've also put a little bit of water sure my bottom was dry. I added a little water in here. I have already um, cleaned the ribs. Um, rib tips is what they're called. I've already cleaned them and had them soaking in a little vinegar and water. So I'm going to add them into here and then add my seasoning. And I'm so mad because I did not want this cut of meat, but that's what happens when you do grocery, have your groceries delivered. You don't get to pick what you want. But that's okay. That ain't going to stop this show. Okay, let me get rid of this. Uh, guys, before we continue, let me first start out. Let me see if I can turn this camera around. I don't know how to turn the camera around again. Yep, they left me in charge. But anyhow, I just want to say, um, send my prayers out to those who live in Florida. I do have family. Look at my beautiful nieces. Y'all nieces could never. In Florida, I have um, my brother and my nieces. Um, and his wife, Shanita, who lives there in Florida. So my heart goes is with you guys. I'm praying that everything is okay. I've spoken with my brother and um, he said everything is okay. He's been through this quite a few times. I think he said six or seven times. So there's no doubt in my mind that he knows what he's doing. And I know my brother knows how to pray. So we're going to keep all you guys in prayer. And yeah, let's continue with our ribs and rice. And hi, Brooklyn Blaze. Love you guys. You guys will be okay. Okay, excuse me. I reach over. I forgot to grab a spoon.
And I forgot Bristol. Bristol, I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, wait, just wait. Okay, what I'm putting in here is the, um, I'm gonna put some more of the vegetable um, broth. I can't see what you guys can see, so I hope you can see this, but I'm gonna put some more of this in here because the flavor is just so good. I mean, I have chicken, I have beef that I can put in here, but I want this one. And then our next one, let me rinse this off. Okay, and I'm gonna bring these over here with me. It's easier. Sorry guys, this is not a cooking show because they would have fired me by now. Just cooking in my kitchen. And then I have some mints. Um, ginger so i'm going to put just a little bit of this in here because this is going to kind of give me like that chinese asian type you know flavor put a little bit of that in there just a little bit and i like ginger and ginger is good for you all right I'm gonna add some of my chili garlic sauce just to kick it up just a little bit. And I mean just a little bit of this. See, about that much. That smells so good. Okay. And that is certainly not enough garlic. So I'm gonna add some You can never get them open. Let me get some scissors. I'm going to drop in a whole onion here. It's a small one. And then I'm, I'm not going to cut the garlic up, but I'm going to add four garlic cloves in there. If you notice, I'm not adding too much salt in here um, because I'm going to be putting soy sauce in here. But I am going to put in my browning seasoning in there for it to cook with it and a little bit of celery seeds you guys' favorite and some black pepper oh this is i swear by this love it love it love it And put just put as much as you want in there. Um, yeah, I like it. I'm gonna put that much in there for now, but I'm sure I'll add more. And just to add just a little bit, I'm gonna put a little celery seeds in here. And it's not that I don't like celery seeds. I don't like celery. I don't like chewing on celery. I don't like the strings, even though I know there's a hack out there. That's supposed to get rid of the strings and stuff. I just don't like chewing down on it, but I do like it in the flavor of some things. But I never buy it. Okay, guys, I think that's all that I'm going to put in here for now. I'm going to put the top on it. This thing always gives me a little hard time. Let me first make sure that it's not airtight. <laughs> okay, there we go. And let me put the cord. A little secret, I take my cord and keep it in a little Ziploc bag. 
And when I'm finished with it and this is all clean, I put it back in there. That way they're always together. I like to take credit for that, but my mom taught me that. <laughs> and it actually makes a lot of sense. And then you're not having all these cords in your junk drawer because we all know we got a junk drawer. All right. So this one I'm going to put on meat. I'm going to add some time to it. Um, I'm going to cook it for 30 minutes. I think that's as high as this pressure cooker goes. So we're on air tight. We made sure of that. Oh, I hope y'all can't see my hair. I have my wig cap on. Yeah. We're on um, air tight. And I always move this up here in case I want to release the steam. It's going up. It's not going to ruin the cabinets or anything. So be careful of that. So while this is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the mess that I made. Um, by the time I come back, I will have already had the rice made. And um, we're going to make the gravy for the ribs and rice. And it'll be time to eat. Thank you guys for staying to the end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like, and comment. See ya!